Hi and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT4 to look at your AdWords data in more detail. You may want to use this if you're not sure if you're using the right keywords or if you want to figure out what keywords are actually best performing or what your target group is, in what country you should run your ads and even what the best match type would be for your ads. We're going to go into all the details in just a minute. First of all, you need to have the plus version of ChatGPT. Then after logging in, you need to switch to the GPT-4 tab here and activate the advanced data analysis here, which is still in beta. And what you can do then is head over to your AdWords account and just for the purpose of showing you what it can do. I just select all the data here and I simply click on this download button and download it in a zip format. I will download it to my download folder. It's downloaded already. Then I will switch over to GPT-4 again with the activated advanced data analysis plugin or function. Then we'll just click here on the plus sign, go to my download folder, use this zip folder, and you can see it's been uploaded already. All the data is already inside. And then we can start actually by asking, for example, about the target group. Let's ask what the best target group is. Let's say, according to my data, what is the best target group? And you don't have to worry too much uh, about asking the right questions because you will see in the flow, ChatGPT will ask you what you exactly want to know. So now it's going ahead and it will take some time probably. It's unzipping the zip file. It's getting out all the single files and there is a lot of files inside. Here we see there's the search keywords, location, then there's the demographics, then there is date, time, hour, age group, and so on. So it's listing all the documents now it found, and it will look in very detail at all the documents. As we can see till now, it found 14, 15 documents to analyze, and now it will probably go ahead and ask us what we want to do. To identify the best target group, we could look at multiple factors like demographics, location, devices, etc. Which specific file or aspect we were to identify? So I will just look at, I just copy in demographics here. And you could also go ahead and just put in numbers. So tell JetGPT, I want to look at number nine and 10, or I want to look at the time and whatever. But like this, it will go ahead and maybe ask some questions. So you have to imagine it's like an employee. Here it uh, says, great, focusing on demographics can provide value and insights. And it's looking at the demographic age here, gender and age, and demographic gender. And all the time, if you open this, you will see more details. It's not uh, pretty important, but that ChatGPT is working. You see here the results. It already analyzed some of the files and it looks like it analyzed all of the demographics already. So here is the breakdown already. Age range data, age range categories like 18 to 24, 25 to 34, etc. Click numbers, gender and year and range. So it gives us some general things it could look at. Given these aspects, we can analyze the data to determine the demographics. Would you like to proceed with that analysis? So basically, it gave us an overview to make sure it's doing the right thing. I would just say yes, and it will go ahead. And according to this information here, pull out the data that we want to know about our AdWords account. So it's saying great, and it's starting to identify. It's probably already having the data or it will go into the data again. Let's have a look what it's doing. So it's telling us now it's analyzing the age group 
it's analyzing the gender and age groups, and it's analyzing the gender. So it will come up with some informations. And in the process, sometimes it will ask you if you want to look at conversion data, if you want to look at click data, impression, and so on. So it tries to figure out what is most important for you and for your campaign. It's working again. It's trying to extract all the data. It even comes up with a nice chart for us. We can always ask ChatGPT to come up or generate the chart for us. This is especially useful if you want to do a reporting for a client, maybe. So it already came up with this nice chart here without telling actually ChatGPT to do it. In this chart, we can see here the clicks. We can see the age range. So it looks like 35 to 44 and 45 to 54 is the best age range or is the most, we have the most clicks. But of course, if you want to have more details about the conversion data, we could ask in very detail. This is just to give you an overview actually what it can do. Here we see that the age range actually 18 to 24 and 25 to 34 is not generating a lot of clicks. Then we even have the next chart already. Next, let's move to the gender and age group. So we see here actually this uh, is female, the blue is female, the brown one is male. So it's much more female targeted, of course, not male targeted. And then what did it do here? It looked again at the clicks and it looked at the gender. So you see this is again another chart. So summary of the findings, age group, the age group 35 to 44 and 45 to 54 have the highest engagement, each with 119 clicks. Gender and age group, females in the age group 35 to 44 and 45 to 54 are the most engaged ones, considerably more engaged than male. Based on this analytics, the best target group appears to be females in the age range of 35 to 44 and 45 to 54. Would you like to explore any other aspect or do you have any other questions? So it's telling us now impression clicks, it found all of that. The next step would be to combine this conversion data. It looks good. Do you have any additional data? Okay. So it seems there is no conversion data in this, but don't worry. So you know, let's go on and ask what are the best performing keywords. So to identify the best performing keywords, we can do clicks, cost, impressions, and so on. So I would just say focus on, let's start by analyzing the metrics. Okay, doesn't need any input at the moment. It's starting to analyze the keywords. Based on the metrics of clicks, cost, and impressions, these are best performing keywords. For search term, RTT therapy is 63 clicks, 9315 uh, cost, 327 impressions. So you see exactly the output here. For individual words, so it's breaking it down for the search terms, the combined search terms, and the individual words. Would you like to explore anything further? I would say, what are the best match types for the, in, let's say, for the search term keywords? So we also try to figure out what are actually the best match types. Now it's telling us what it needs to do to identify the best match types for the search term keywords. We can look at metrics such as clicks, cost, and impressions. Would you like to explore other aspects? Exact match, phrase match, how costly? Would you like to explore the aspect of the data? Do you have any more questions? Tell me the best match type. For the keyword, let's see. Let's just pick one here. Just copy in this keyword. A space. 
Let's just ask it what the best match type for this is according to the data, and then it can analyze it. Search keywords file, which seems to be match type. Let's find the performing metrics for that. It's looking for the performance metrics. So it's telling me for the keyword the TT therapy, the performance metrics based on different match types. So match type, RTT therapy, exact match, the cost is 58, the clicks 38, impressions 207, broad match. You see the breakdowns of all of them. Phrase match analyzes exact match, has the highest number of clicks, 38, but also the highest cost, 58. Broad match has the lowest cost, 24, but fewer clicks, 26. Phrase match has the most numbers of clicks, 18, has the least number of clicks, 18, and a moderate cost of 40. The best match type depends on your specific goals. If you're looking for the highest engagement, is exact match. If you're looking for minimizing cost, it would be the broad match, and phrase match appears to be the least effective. Would you like to explore further, or do you have any more questions? I think we're going to leave it here. I could ask you now to make a chart or whatever if you need to do some reporting or reporting for some clients. And you can ask in every detail. I'm not very deep into the AdWords campaigning, but if you are an AdWords expert, I'm sure there's many more questions that you can ask the tool according to the downloaded data. And remember, the more data you provide, the better information ChatGPT can, can give you on your data. So I hope that was useful, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye. See you.